Hello, Yuri Plonkers, and welcome back today to another video on the Druzy channel. It's a very different type of video this week, ladies and gentlemen. I was on the news. I was on the news. Can you believe it? I was at the AFL Draft Combine on Sunday, just helping out test some of the players' agility and 2K. That's what I helped with. But I was on the news. It was a pleasure getting to work with these players over the last few months. The season's now done. They're getting to get drafted, or some of them will get drafted. But I am by no way affiliated with these players. My views are not theirs. Anyway, with that said, let's get into the video. All right, let's have a look at the news. The younger brother of Carlton co-captain Patrick Cripps and the son of a Brownlow medalist have joined the next generation of WA rising stars at the AFL Draft Combine. Here's Anna Hay. It's the place Big where Arthur every Jones second for a run. Brady and off. every centimetre counts. Farmer. There's me. There's me in the background. Did you see me? <laughs> Roll it back, mate. Roll it back. And every centimetre counts. <laughs> Young men, all AFL hopefuls, putting their bodies on the line. There the I am AFL again, Jacob Van Royen running through the agility test. I'm, I'm taking this his time. This littered with famous Big footy Jamal Stretch, names. Josh leap Cripps, on him. brother of Colton star Patty Cripps, blitz the agility test. There you go, Big Joshy Cripps. Brother of Paddy Cripps, great sport. Josh, um, very funny fella. There he is, still a bit of a run for it. Forward. Look Rug, at him go. Hopeful he'll join his brother <laughs> he did well at the, the big fella. Here we see Cripps going around the uh, the agility course. The big fella can move. Look at him. Look at him go. Ducking and weaving, ducking and weaving. Did well, the big man. Moves around quite well. I didn't expect a Cripps to be a forward ruck. Like, he, he's massive. He's sort of that Rory Lobb role. Obviously doesn't play like him, but uh, it'll be interesting to see if he gets drafted. Could he potentially end up with his brother at Carlton? We'll see. Watch his space. Taj Wawoden, son of Brownlow medalist Shane Wawoden, is also in the mix. The East Frio Colts skipper hoping to follow in his dad's footsteps and land at Melbourne. Big Taj Wawoden. He, uh, yeah, obviously, as the news has just said, son of the Brownlow medalist from Melbourne. And he had the best time in the 20 metre sprint. I think he got about 2.8 seconds, which is very good. And that'll help him with his with his draft hopes. Although the draft combine, it's not really the be all and end all. Obviously, the players put their body of work in throughout the season, throughout the games. It's sort of just splitting hairs. The combine, if there's clubs looking at two different players who has a bit better vertical leap, who can move around a little bit better, things like that. Subiaco midfielder Neil Erasmus is expected to be drafted in the first round. I want Erasmus at Freo. I love the way that he goes about it. He's very mature for his age, and I think he just knows what it takes. Going into this year, he was the biggest prospect, played some footy at the beginning of the year, uh, didn't get to play state footy, but I think he's going to be the top prospect out of WA this year. Also tipped to go early East Perth sharpshooter, Jai Amos. Jai Amos, he played all the season, just about until he injured his knee against South Australia on grand final day at Optus, but it was nothing major. He should be all right. So if Frio could get Erasmus and Amos, that's a massive combo that we could slot in to our side. And yeah, Amos is a sharpshooter. He kicked something like 57 goals for like 10 points. He doesn't miss. Jai Amis doesn't miss. So he could be a really good forward for Frio. I'd love him there if he doesn't get picked up before by another club. And hey, seven news. There you have it, mate. I was on the news. How how cool is that? It's really not that major. But uh, Bryce Watson got the best on the agility, which I was testing. He got eight seconds around the course. So uh, good job to Watto. Good half back. Could probably go in this draft. Medium-sized halfback, great runner, and a very good kick as well. Following that, we headed to the athletics track to do the 2K time trial, which was taken out by Corey Warner. You can see here Corey crossing the finish line. There's me recording the time, 6.20. I mean, imagine running 2Ks in 6 minutes and 20 seconds. You are going flat out for most of that time. You can see Corey Warner going to the floor there. Obviously, brother of... Uh, Chad Warner, who plays for Sydney, they literally look the exact same. Have you ever seen the two in a room at the same time? Neither have I. Corey Warner, 6.20. Come on out, come on. 6.30. Arthur Jones coming second with 6.30. Dirty. Arthur Jones, I'm a massive fan of. He was one of the best on ground in the state game against South Australia. I love his athleticism, his agility. He's such a smart player as well. Like he know he reads the play so well. He can get around a defender like that. He's just so quick, so agile, so athletic. Got a massive vertical jump on him, 
as well. And he can run. He's a really good runner, as you can see by him coming second in the 2K time trial. I hope he gets drafted. Um, he'll be a massive pickup for any club that takes him, I think. So that wraps up the draft combine video. I'm going to do separate videos in the coming weeks on the best draft prospects across the nation. I'll do state by state. Obviously, I'll know most about WA, having worked closely with these boys this season. But that's going to do it for this video. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, you plonkers.